Hi, this is Adam Blair. I'm the executive editor at Retail Touchpoints. Welcome to Touchpoints TV. We're here at the NRF Big Show 2017, and I'm talking to Gordon Jaquay, who's the director of information technology at Hickory Farms. So, uh, Gordon, I understand Hickory Farms has undertaken kind of a digital transformation. What were some of the big motivations behind doing that uh, at, at Hickory Farms? Sure. So, we are positioning ourselves for growth. Okay. And we have uh, four or five main systems today that are a little bit older legacy systems. And we knew the systems that we had today would not scale for the type of growth that we're looking to perform. So, uh, that was one of the key motivators. Okay. All right. Great. Um, so when did this initiative get underway and, and, and who in, in the organization was most, I mean besides yourself, who was most sure. involved in, in pushing it forward and, and keeping it going? Yeah, our operating committee, um, which is our executive team, we, we're, we've been very uh, instrumental mm -hmm. in driving it through the organization, uh, all the way from the very beginning of the discovery process, all the way through choosing our partners, mm -hmm. and now through the implementation. Okay, great. Um, so. Overall, what would you say have been some of the main goals? You were telling me before we started a little bit about Hickory Farms and how it's more than seasonal, it's hyper-seasonal. I wonder if that's been part of the, the growth issue. But for the transformation, what were some of the key goals that you had or have? Sure. So, you know, some of the key business objectives are really unifying the data and the transactional data, getting folks working in the same screens, mm. right? So getting that visibility across the organization. Um, right now, we have those four disparate systems, as I talked about, mm -hmm. and so bringing all of that information together for the organization to deliver a really powerful customer experience was important. Okay, great. So, um, so can you tell me a little bit about which uh, are some of the actual technologies or solutions that you've used sure. uh, as part of the transformation, and maybe take me a little bit through what what some of the processes have been with each of them, yep. or, or with, with some of the more important yep. ones. Yep, so we chose Microsoft as our partner, Microsoft okay. Dynamics 365 for okay. operations to be specific, and that will replace the four legacy systems that I spoke of okay. to consolidate the systems. Um, and there are a couple other um, little small add-on partners that you know kind of couple with that application mm -hmm. to, to bring that to life for us, but okay. yeah, that is, those are the technologies that we'll be utilizing. Okay, and um, I, I, so is this uh, in process? It hasn't it hasn't gone live yet, or it's in the process of going live. Where, where are you in terms of in terms of the timeline for this? Sure, we kicked off the project August fifteenth of sixteen, okay. and we will uh, go live with phase one of the application or of our project April thirtieth. Okay. And phase one includes um, it is going to be our back office ERP supply chain, and it will support our direct and wholesale channels. Right. In phase one, and okay. then phase two will go live October first, and that will be our retail point of sale. Right. And that October 1st is like the beginning of your super high season, is that, that right? That is correct. So yeah. we'll be just ramping into our, our season. So for our, our 2017 season, we expect to have the entire system in place. Right. Okay. Um, so I understand you probably don't have a lot of results now, but what are you, what are you kind of hoping for or expecting that this is going to be able to either accomplish for you or help you do better or change the way you do you, you operate your business yeah so we're expecting some key results straight out of the box which is exciting for us being able to deliver a better customer experience in that if a customer comes up to our store our kiosk and we don't have something that they would like on in the shelf mm -hmm. we can deliver it directly from our warehouse right. and the associate is now going to be empowered to provide that experience to the customer where right. they're not today so it's going to be better for customer retention. It's going to be just a better customer experience in general, and it's a win for Hickory Farms in that we're top of mind and we're completing that sale at the time that sure. the customer's ready. Sure. So, and and so it's in, in essence a kind of endless aisle type of solution Absol for for yours. Absolutely. All right. Um, and and you were you were telling me about Hickory Farms. Maybe I should have asked this first, but uh, something about you know you're a, you, you, that how hyper seasonal you are. I think mm -hmm. that would be a great example for people yeah. who may be aware of you. When, when you're when you're hot and busy. Yeah. So what, what was that again about uh, your uh, million dollar business? So, uh, so I, I describe Hickory Farms as a hundred million dollar business, but we operate like a billion dollar business for eight weeks of the year. Those eight weeks. So we, we um, probably better than anyone in the industry, in my opinion, pop up five to 600 stores across wow. the United States and Canada for 12 weeks of the year. Wow. So in a very short amount of time, we ramp up. So our peak is 
a hyper seasonal peak as I describe it. Right. And um, we looked to Microsoft and Azure to help scale that for us. And that was one of the key drivers in our decision for choosing them okay. because we felt Azure had the power to do that for us. Yeah. So. And does Hickory Farms have an, have an e-commerce uh, aspect to it as well as the pop-ups? We do. Yeah. Do. So as part of our direct channel, we have three business channels, mm -hmm. our wholesale, our directs, and then our retail. Got it. And direct is call center, uh, phone and mail and catalog and, and web. Great. Okay. So. And, um, you know, uh, if we were talking again in early 2018, maybe at NRF, the big show, mm -hmm. I mean, where would you hope you would be in terms of the technology advancement? As you say, it's kind of going to yeah. be, I th you said, next next October for, yes. for the yes. retail deployment. Yeah, so we will have just completed our uh, first season on the application mm -hmm. at that point on, on the platform. So I would hope that we would be in a, in a position to talk about the key wins that we just talked about. You know, okay. making sure that the customer has a really powerful experience and delivering some functionality and some expectation and filling some expectation for the customer. That's great. Around the uh, being able to ship from the warehouse and, and getting them, uh, you know, the products when they want it. Terrific. So, thank you so much, Gordon. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Absolutely. Thanks thank you everybody. very much.